Okay, we have a 2017 F-150 just under the warranty miles on it. And not that long ago, this customer had a tensioner spring that broke. It overheated the vehicle. He didn't know until it, you know, bing, turned on the light. And he was in the middle of a position where he couldn't just stop and pull over. It was unsafe for him to stop and pull over, so he had to continue far enough to get somewhere. And it overheated fairly badly. Uh, the vehicle seemed fine. He had it towed. I replaced the tensioner, and it seemed like the vehicle was okay. There was no alarming anything. So, okay, it's fine. The customer then had to tow something. We will go through that in a second. But first... We are back and what we are going to do today is a head gasket test. This thing has overheated from that tensioner failure and with the overheating came damage to the head gasket. Uh, he didn't notice until he went to pull a trailer. So this trailer, he was pulling it, took off from a stop sign and took off medium to heavier power, you know, just kind of pulling a little bit hard. It was a little bit harder of a pull on that particular moment for a decent amount of time, going from zero all the way to 65 miles an hour. Now, in the process, uh, a bunch of steam started popping out of the hood. So under enough load, it blew enough combustion gas that the cooling system's auto bleeding could not keep up, and it sprayed, there's a little bleeder behind this radiator cap, there's a little bleeder for the extra pressure to go out of, and it boiled in the tank so much that it filled it up and blew antifreeze out, sprayed it everywhere, steam came rolling out of the hood, and, you know, what in the world is going on kind of a thing. And the light turned on and said, hey, we're overheating. So pulled over, brought it to my shop, and I did a head gasket test. I forgot to do the video on it, so here we are now, and I'm going to do the video and show you how this process goes. Now, this is a combustion leak tester. If you do not have one, I will put a link in the description below for the kind of tester I recommend. These multi-chamber units are by far the best. This one is probably not available anymore. I did not see it, so I'm putting a link for a different one that's the same basic concept. And this particular tester has two chambers that you put the combustion gas chemical in. So that combustion gas chemical is a color changing chemical. And what it is, is it starts out blue, you can see that here. And I'm pretty sure all of them are the same. There might be something different out there, but I don't know about it yet. All I've ever seen is blue. And it starts blue, and if there's combustion gas going into your cooling system from, say, a bad head gasket, a cracked head, cracked block, etc., etc., it will turn yellow if there's any kind of combustion gas getting into this cooling system. Now, this one is so bad, or shows up so quick, that I figure I'll do a video on it. Now, the exhaust on this thing, I have not ran it in this garage. I actually parked this in here last night and this is early in the morning. So I know there's no exhaust gas in the room. If you have any exhaust gas in the room, I would never open one of these bottles in that same room because it will contaminate the fluid and make it less effective. You always wanna do this when the air is nice and clean and pure and you don't have any kind of exhaust gas or in a very open environment like doing it outside. Uh, as long as you're not in a high traffic area. If you're next to a highway or something, well, I don't know, good luck. But we will continue here. I'm gonna take this guy. This is the first chamber section. Okay, I'm at the indicator line. Now we will get the second chamber section. A oh, little bit above the chamber, or the little line, but that's not the end of the world. Now I'm going to cap this off as soon as I get that done. I don't want to leave that uncapped. Okay, there's that. There's that. Now, this little bulb here has a one-way valve. It has a little check ball thing in the end. And that's so it can only pull air through. Squeeze it. Now I'm going to pull up. Watch the, the fluid. Okay, you see that? That's so it can pull the gas through here. Now this one leaks bad enough. If I just hold this on here, it's not going to have a problem. This cap does not fit this particular design cone, 
the one that I was going to link you to, or the one that I linked you to below, it does not have the same design. It might fit this better. Every vehicle is a little bit different. You might have to find a way to adapt it. This is a cone from one of my uh, vacuum cooling system vacuum kits, and this cone is, it fits it really well. Now I can take and shove this cone over top of that guy there, so it's a nice tight seal, and then I can shove the cone into here. Now I'm going to open the door, throw the exhaust hose out. Okay, let's start this vehicle up. Five pumps of that little bulb and it's yellow. 
So there you have it. Confirm head gasket. This chemical test works phenomenal for finding those situations. And again, the link is down below for you guys to get that item if you would like it. It's relatively cheap. I think it's only $45 if I remember correctly. And it comes with test fluid and the tester. And it's a confirmed bad head gasket or head situation or block. I mean, it could be anything really. But at least you know that there is a failure and you're not going to be pulling cylinder heads off for no reason whatsoever. So thanks for watching. And if you found this video useful or liked it, please make sure to hit that like button. YouTube Analytics sure love that like button. I'm not sure why, but they, they do. So go ahead and smash the like and let me know in the comments below if there's anything I could have did better. Thanks for watching.